This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Before I show you some of the more dramatic and impactful photos that I took in this photo shoot using these LED lights and colors, um, I took some other shots going for like a filmish look uh, using a Fuji X-T4 and the Eterna Cinema simulation, I believe. I love the film simulations out of the Fuji cameras. I love seeing what I'm gonna get. You know, even though it's a JPEG, I love seeing it. Um, so I'm using two LED lights by color LED lights. The link will be down below. B&H sent me these lights and I normally don't use LEDs. I was supposed to use strobes here, but changing out the gels out of flash is just a pain in the butt. So you see here, Fuji's str little struggling in low light to capture autofocus. But you also have to keep in mind that this is a pre-production camera. So it's gonna have quirks here and there, but switching to single point, I wasn't having any problems. Now, I wanna give you guys a tip when working with models. When you ask the model to do their own posing, as they're cycling through their poses, pay attention to the little things. Pay attention to the movements that they do. And when you like something, ask them to do it again so you can capture it. Kinda of like this. Oh, right there. Flick your hair again, what you did. Yeah, do that again, but um, don't don't tilt your, your, your chin up. One, two, three. All right, here's another tip. Take more pictures. I'm not saying rapid fire through the whole photo shoot, but when a model is cycling through poses, she's giving you different expressions. And at the end of the shoot, yes, you may have to cull more images, but you'll have more photos to choose from. And more likely, you're going to end up finding a photo that you like. All right, now I'm going to just include the lights in the picture, get them nice and tight, just to add that, um, I don't know. I think it'll look nice as a uh, just an element in the frame. Like I always say, experiment. If you think something's going to look good, try it. If it doesn't, guess what? You, you're you not losing out on anything. You're shooting with a digital camera. Just try it if you think it's going to look good. Experiment. Don't be afraid to take a bad photo. All right, so for this one, we're going to... Um, I'm, I'm using a like a teal and a light pink magenta color and what we want to do is highlight you know her new tattoos that she got right here her little well no well that's what that the but well, the point is we're gonna try to highlight that okay so I committed a big boo-boo here can you guess what it is okay okay I can't hear you but if you guess that her black shirt would blend in with the black V flat behind her you guess correctly see what I could have done here was add a third light to give her that separation from the background or I could have possibly moved the pink light a little bit more toward the back of Diana to give her that extra rim light so that the black shirt wouldn't completely blend in with the background. We're going to switch it up to... <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, I'm only changing the color, not the intensity. Yeah, well, that orange was hella... <laughs> it was bright, huh? Okay, so now we got yellow and a blue. Yellow is going to be my, my main light. Got some blue in the background. Ooh, okay, I like it. All right, just to add a little bit more flair to this shot, um, I'm gonna get some movement. So you add, buy this fan on Amazon for 50 bucks. Now you get movement of the hair, adds a different element to the image, but you gotta make sure, and I'm, I'm bla as I'm blasting her, make sure you don't blast them for too long in the eye, because it will get dry. So I'm, yeah, I know it's kinda cold. Ready? And go. Taking a lot of pictures, looking over your shoulder. Right there, yep. When using a fan in the studio to blow the hair, you want to make it look natural. Putting the fan straight on is not going to make it look natural. It's going to blow the hair straight back and the face is going to look bigger than what it is. You want to put it off to the side. That's going to give you the best results. So let's go blue and then Red. Let's see. Like that? No, it's too. Let's go blue and purple. So this shot came out so freaking fire, but it would have been better if I had a third light to separate her from the background. So I just reached out to BH as I'm doing this voiceover, and they're sending me a third light. So stay tuned for those 
videos because I'm, I'm loving this whole gel setup I can only imagine what it's gonna be like with three lights all right so stay tuned for those videos and hopefully you enjoyed this one let me know your favorite shot down below in the comment section but before I leave a quick message from our sponsors Squarespace if you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. I've been using them for years. I even have an online store with them. You can check out my portrait retouching tutorial on my Squarespace website, where I show you how I retouch my images from start to finish, dodging and burning, smoothing out the skin. This is the kind of stuff to literally take your work to the next level, okay? Because raw files just don't do it. We, we need to be able to polish, it, polish our, our images up real nice in post without spending an hour. Okay, so check that out. That's my online store on there. I also sell my my presets on there and Squarespace makes it a lot easier to do it. Okay, so if you use the coupon code Manny down below, you'll get 10% off your first purchase. So it does not hurt to check it out. All right. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.